Katie, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm swimming 1,500 in 10 minutes. Oh, so you're warming up? Yeah, I'm swimming in 10 minutes. Would you say that you're rather busy right now? Yeah, I'm swimming in 10 minutes. All right, so then one more question for you since you're not busy. Uh, the My name's Zach Harding. I am Tiny Mike. The Tiny Mike is me. We're here in Knoxville. It is day four. We're not here for very long, so the content that we get today will revolutionize the lives in terms of the quality that we are trying to deliver. We're seeking out the content. We're seeking out the answers to the questions that no one ever asks. This is Tiny Mike. Do you want, can I ask you a few questions? I'm here with one of the sand people. What's your name? I'm Mackie Hodges. I'm here with Mackie. Uh, what are you swimming tonight? Uh, I'm doing the two back and the hundred free. So the easy ones, right? Um, I guess you could say that, yeah. <laughs> so, ah, okay. Uh, I'll have to wait till after this. Would you like to sing for the tiny mic? Oh, say can you see by the dots? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Parts we watch were so gallantly streaming. Bring us home. And the rocket's red glare. <laughs> and then get proof through the night <laughs> that our flag was still there. Oh, Santa says, Star Spangled Banner, yeah, well. I'm really good at this, huh? Or the land of the free. Bring it home, bring it home. And the home of the brave. Play ball! That was beautiful. I, I have no questions. It's them. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Bella, you swim pretty much. What? What's something that you don't swim? <laughs> Breaststroke. But you do the I am, right? Yeah. So you kind of swim breaststroke. Um, swimming is a is a is a weird term for that one. How does this song make you feel? Um, good. If you had to, what event would you like to walk out to to hear this song? Um, does it have to be a real event? No. The 400 fly. So if you were walking out swimming a 400 fly, this would be the song your song of choice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck in your not breaststroke okay, stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Katie, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm swimming 1,500 in 10 minutes. Oh, so you're warming up? Yeah, I'm swimming in 10 minutes. Would you say that you're rather busy right now? Um, no. All right, so then one more question for you since you're not busy. Uh, the power outage. How does that affect your travel plans to stay here tonight? Not at all. Easy peasy? As long as I swim fast in my uh, 1500, I think I'll make my flight tomorrow morning. She does. Now, if you swim slow, will you miss your flight tomorrow morning? Uh, potentially. Depends on how slow, right? Yeah. All right, well, I hope you go fast so you can make your flight. Thank you. Gotta go. Hey, can I ask you a few questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. What do you swim? I swim too fly. What do you swim? Uh, 100 fly, 50 fly. All right, so if you guys raced a 150 fly, I met in the middle, who'd win? Oh, that'd be really close. It, it, it'd, be, it'd come to the touch. And practice is fun between us, bro. Yeah. We, get, we get really, yeah, yeah. All right, so would you say the water here is wet? And which pool are you talking about? The warm-up pool or this pool? This really comp pool. I think the water's really wet. Yeah. Yeah, really? I, I agree. So you're saying that different water is wetter than other different waters? That for sure. How do you how do you figure out how wet water is? It's a feel thing. You got to know. It's a feel. Yeah, you're you're born with it. You're born with the feel. You either have it or you it's don't. It's an instinct. So okay. All right. So you can't explain it to non-swimmers. No. 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 Too hard. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for your time. If you guys come up with a real way to describe that, please let us know so we can let yeah, 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 our viewers yeah. know. Yeah. I'll be thinking about it. All right. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Drew, you've been swimming a lot here. Uh, what's been your least uh, favorite event here so far? My least favorite event here so far was the 100 back. I, I used to love the 100 back, 
but I was just so underwater. It was embarrassing. I was in Ryan's heat, and I know he wasn't even trying. And I just got decimated, so that wasn't right. So you, uh, it looks like you're drinking Starbucks. So it looks like you speak Starbuckian. I do speak Starbuckian. Yeah. This is a, that's a whole thing, right? That is a whole thing. Yeah. Right. Like Grande Venti, Starbuckian. That's that's your order. Oh, oh, like what is my order? Yeah, what is oh, what you're uh, Venti, uh, Venti, Grande, dude, I'm so flustered with this mic in my head. It's a Grande vanilla latte with an extra shot of espresso. Boom! That is Starbuckian right there. It's a whole other language. If you don't speak it, you're out. Good job, Drew. Excuse me, man. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. <clears throat> I see you got the pink cowgirl hat uh, going on. Can you please explain to the viewers kind of uh, what's all rooting and tooting about it? <laughs> Um, my coach and I have a little inside joke about cowboy hats, so since we were coming to Tennessee, I decided why not bring the pink cowboy hat. And I, I see it's matching your suit. Is that intentional or is that just kind of ironic? No, it's absolutely intent intentional. <laughs> so would you say that you, uh, you're you on fleek right now, that, that your, uh, your apparel combination is on fire? Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I like the, the southern accent there, that was funny. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, sure. So, uh... What? Huh? What'd you say? I thought you said something. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You have something you'd like to say? No. Alright. <laughs> hey, quick joke! What's the deal? Ha, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Alright, so I see you, you kind of got the mustache kind of rocking. I, I love it, by the way. Uh. What goes into taking care of a mustache of that caliber? Well, I mean, I like to use beard oil. Do you have a favorite kind or scent? Um, birch. Birch is really nice. Okay. I do like birch. I had sandalwood one time. That wasn't my favorite. It didn't smell the best. So I'll try birch next time. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And do you think that uh, mustaches kind of get a, or beards in general, facial hair, uh, get a bad rap? And because people just don't know their usefulness sometimes. Yeah, I think they do but I personally am in huge favor of beards and mustaches it Looks good on you. Keep rocking it, man Hey, uh, what do you think about his interview? Oh, I thought it was great. He's the best interviewee ever. Well, you probably didn't see it Of course I did. I'm everywhere. Oh, he's everywhere. Be on the lookout for hey, him. Yeah, uh, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, all right, I'm here with uh, legendary coach Bob Bowman. Bob, you're at ASU now, right? I am. And I've been there for a while, and you guys train outside every day, right? We do. Um, so how is how is you not like super sunburnt on your head? The power of sunscreen and big hats. I don't wear them inside, but every day outside, you gotta have. Them. You ever feel like it kind of comes too far down on the side, and then like you can't see your face? Uh, no, nah, they're not that big. Okay. Just a, it's a perfect medium It's amount. a perfect medium amount. The Goldilocks of the exactly. hat. Exactly. Adidas extra large. The extra large is the, the Goldilocks <laughs> medium. All right. Thanks, hey, Bob. I'm here with one of my teammates. What are you doing? I'm currently watching a TV show. Is it good? It's pretty goated. I'm not going to lie. I'm at episode four. If it was bad, would you stop watching it? No, because I've committed, so I have to watch the whole thing. How many episodes do you have to watch to be, quote, committed? Uh, one. So if you watch one episode of any show, it's just like you have to finish it? Yeah, or it annoys me because I still want to know how it ends. He's a completionist. I respect that. Good for you. Keep grinding, my dude.